hi, welcome to another edition of North Shore Journal. I'm your host, Walt Kosmowski, and I have a very extra special guest with me today in the studio, and I will let her introduce herself, so why don't you tell the audience your name? Hello, I'm Elizabeth Jade Beatty. Elizabeth Jade Beatty, and where do you live, Elizabeth Jade? I live in Beverly. You do live in Beverly, and you go to the new middle school. Yes. Right. So what grade are you in? I'm in fifth. So that's uh, it. So that middle school is fifth, sixth, seventh, and eighth, correct? <laughs> so you're the first. So you'll be the first class that goes through all four years, right? At yeah. The, at the middle. How do you like it there? It's really nice. We have a lot of like new high tech stuff. We have our own iPads and stuff. Yeah. It's really nice. Betcha. And wh where did you go before that? To Centerville School? Yeah, I went to Centerville Elementary. So Centerville. And Elementary. I had a ton of fun there. <laughs> and you did, yeah. Now, uh, so you go to that school. Now you live here in Beverly. Mm -hmm. And now, do you have any brothers or sisters? I have. A brother named Colin. My brother Colin, okay. Who's four, and a sister Alana who is eight. Okay, well, Alana is eight, and Colin is four. Okay. Now, our audience probably wants to know why I asked you to come on my show, and why did I ask you to come on my show? Because I wrote this book, and I'm the youngest author in Beverly. <laughs> you wrote a book, and you're the youngest author in Beverly. And let me just hold the book up for my um, camera person to zoom in on that. And, um, and the book is called The Elephant Dentist. What an unusual, unusual title. And we're going to talk about... The Elephant Dentist and what that means and how you how you wrote the book, Elizabeth Jade. So, so tell us what what gave you the idea first of all just to write a book. Well, I was in third grade and I love reading and writing. Okay. And so um, we're doing a project about elephants, and then I, after like doing a report on them, I came home to my mom and said, "Hey, can we write a book?" Just like that. Yeah. And you never thought about writing a book before, but you were, and what, yeah. this was in science class or geography class uh, or so? How did you, what were you, uh, what sort of class like were you? I think it was like, um, so like we were doing like writing, I think. Yeah. And then, el and you were writing about elephants? Yeah. Yeah. And you like elephants. I love elephants. I know. We're going to get to that in a little bit. So you went to your mom and said, let's write a book about elephants. Okay. So, um, that's one part of it. So it's the elephant dentist. Now, how did how did the dentist part of it well, come in? Well, I love dentistry. I love helping people. So I wanted to be a dentist when I grew up. And I, no one's heard of an elephant dentist before. So why not make that a book? Wow. So Elizabeth Jade, why would a a, a ten year old girl be interested? In dentistry, usually uh, young kids are kind of shy when it comes to going to the dentist, right? That's a little different. So yeah. how, what made you interested in dentistry? Well, I had the best dentist ever, Dr. Erica, and yeah. she was always so sweet, and she would let me help out there. Yeah. And I guess since, my mom said ever since I was two, I've just been interested in dentistry. Well, and Dr. Erica practices here in Beverly? Well, she did, but now she's in New Hampshire. She's in New Hampshire, okay, but she was your inspiration, right? Yeah. Okay, so we have, here you are, and you love elephants, mm -hmm. and you love dentistry, so you decided to write a book, and the title of the book came out, The Elephant Dentist. Yep. Right? Mm -hmm. So did you, did you have any idea uh, of, of what the story would be about, how you would start it and, and what you would talk about and how you would end it? You know, how difficult was it to write it? At first it was like a little bumpy. We didn't know like what we were doing. Yeah. So we were just, we just started like as we went and now it's a book. So, so the storyline, did you like talk uh, to your mom about, well, what should I do? What should I yeah. say? Because it's a very interesting book. I read it. And how did you come up with all these interesting ideas? Well, um, one of the characters called the Walla Bear was named after m my brother because we call him Call the Walla Bear sometimes. Call the Walla <laughs> and, um, Does he like that? Sometimes. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but um, the characters, we didn't all, like, have it down yet. Yeah. But then we, like, we, the names, I have to say, were, like, probably the hardest to figure out. Yeah. Because we didn't know, oh, what should this character be named and stuff. Like, um, the zebra, Zeus is your, the zebra was named after my stuffed animal. Yeah. 
Yeah. Right. So now, now, how long from the time you decided to start writing? How long did it take you to write the book? Uh, it took Jade? a couple weeks because I I was very busy and I had school yeah. and ice skating. Well, of, of course. Of and course, it yeah. took my mom a couple months to uh, do her beautiful drawings. Yeah. Well, let's talk about that. The the uh, I'm going to hold the book up again, and um, I'm just going to kind of flip through it a little bit and. <clears throat> And well, b uh, before I do, I should say that I have my copy here is an autographed copy, <laughs> right? See who that? Keep smiling to Walter Love Elizabeth Jade. I'm going to treasure this. This is going to go on my, my bookshelf with my really special books. Keep smiling to Walter Love Elizabeth Jade. Thank you for signing my copy. Of but course. what I wanted to show was that there are some, there are some great illustrations my uh, mom wanted to be an artist when she grew up, but now she's a photographer. Well, but that's, she has that's an amazing artwork. Yeah, well, there you go, mom. mom and, uh, and mom is uh, in the control room right now, so she's probably smiling when you say that. And there's, uh, there's the elephant dentist with, their, with her pink cape. And, um, and let's see, there's some more pictures. So, so you kind of... You kind of get the idea that, that your yeah. mom did these. Uh, I told her what to draw, and she did an amazing jo job drawing it. Well, see, mom in the control. And now also, I, do, I don't want to forget that you have two of your best friends that are yeah. watching in the control room. So why don't you give your two friends a shout out, okay? Who are they in the control room? My friend Evie and my friend Justine. Evie and Justine are in the control room watching this, okay. So did they, did they give you any input or any, any suggestions um, for the they book? Were really really proud of me when I did it and some of they helped out like sometimes like naming the characters like if I uh -huh. need help like I right I would like yeah yeah so so the elephant dentist is really you kind of right it's yeah. it's it's your alter ego if I can say that yeah yeah it, it's really you so so uh, what you just said let's get back to that so what was the reaction from from your family and your friends and and uh, about you writing this book what did they say well they're all very very proud of me yeah and they all bought copies <laughs> but yeah yeah, and now what about what about the friends at school? Did the, did the kids in the school and the, your teachers in school knew, well, know in that you, you did grade, this? Well, in third grade, I came in and I read the book to my class, oh. and they all loved it. And they kept asking, "Are you making a second one? Are you gonna make a second book?" Wow! I love your book. Like, yeah, it was really nice. Yeah. So, if you were to to summarize the story that's in the Elephant Dentist, like, uh, give us the short version. What would you say the story is about? Uh, uh, in in the book, the elephant dentist. So it's about this elephant, and since I'm, I took a cooking class for a while. I wanted to add cooking into the book, so she was a chef. You did, yeah. And then she um, helped save a customer um, because he had, I be I believe it was um, some of the frosting or like I think you were like. Yeti maybe, yeah. and it got like stuck in his teeth, yeah. and she came and flossed it with some hay straw to get it away, yeah. and then she felt like a superhero with a bubblegum pink yeah. cape, of course, Yeah. and then she decided her, her calling was dentistry. Yeah, yeah. Now, there's a really interesting and, and almost a scary part of the book where who comes in as a patient, a big what? Alligator. An alligator, and everybody runs and is scared. But you weren't afraid, right? The the, the elephant dentist. So what did mm -hmm. you do for the for the alligator? Well, she came in. She didn't know what a dentist was because she had so many cavities and stuff that Ooh. she couldn't even like talk. Oh. So she stumbles into the dentist chair, and then EJ thinks that she, that this is a patient. She yeah. got so excited. She started working on it for like an hour maybe, and then. Um, the alligator's teeth um, felt so much better, and she's like, oh, what did you do to my teeth? And um, EJ was so surprised that she, that, that lady didn't know what an, a dentist was. A dentist was. was, yeah. So. Yeah. So, now, uh, let's go back to your, well, let's talk about the dentistry first. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to hold up a couple pictures, two or three pictures here, where you visit. Tell us, I'm going to hold up one at a time, and you can tell us where this, so tell us where this picture so, was taken. there's no such thing as dentistry camp, but I, <laughs> I went to the 
Boston University. Right. And the dean there, Dr. C, gave us a tour. Yeah. And I got to sit in one of the dentist chairs, and yeah, it was pretty are. cool. And this is, this is at, at uh, School BU, did you say? Yeah. BU. And I got another one I'm going to put up. And this is, um, you talked about the doctor, and this is actually... This Dr. Is C, Dr. and I was signing his book. So there's Dr. C, and you, and you gave him an autographed copy of the book. And yep. was, he, was he excited? Did he? Yeah, he was. Apparently he has a friend yeah. who like, loves dentistry books, so he said, oh, can you sign this for my friend? Uh -huh. I'm like, sure. <laughs> and then now here's a picture of you and your mom and Dr. C. Yeah. And, and your mom's name is Amanda, mm -hmm. and she's in the control room watching us tape this, and there you are with Dr. C and, and, one, and one, of the, one of the books, right? Yeah. Now, um, you, you, you said that you uh, have always liked elephants. Do you remember when, when did you start liking elephants or what, was there something that happened? Did you go to the zoo one time? Well, or we what? have a zoo membership, so we go to the Stoneham Zoo a lot, and uh, my brother loves going to the zoo. Yeah. But sadly, there are no elephants at the Stoneham Zoo. Oh. <laughs> So you don't know any elephants personally, do you? No, but I would love to. Yeah. Now, I, 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 uh, I did a little surprise for you, didn't I, when I sent back, uh, I, I sent you pictures. an email, and what did I send in the email? The elephant pictures of when you were in Africa. Yeah, we were in Africa last year, and, and we have pictures, and I showed you a picture, and I was no more than, you know, like twice the, twice the distance I am from you now. I was that close to big, wild elephants in Africa. That's huh? awesome. So maybe one of these days... Uh, if you're lucky enough, that's something you can you can do. Go on a safari to Africa and see elephants up close. It's really a, a tremendous, tremendous experience. Believe me, trust me. Um, now, um, let's let's take a look. Now, your book. Um, it, it, did, when you wrote the book, Elizabeth Jade, were you planning on publishing it, or did you just were you uh, did you have any idea what what it would take to publish it? Uh, First, uh, me and my mom didn't think that we'd publish it and stuff. We just thought, like, oh, we have a book. That's awesome. Yeah. But then we went to BU, and he said, if you play an instrument, it's not going to get you anywhere to get a scholarship. Mm -hmm. So I got, to I got to quit the clarinet, which I was so happy about. I did not <laughs> like playing it. And so I, uh, we published the book. It was... My mom learned a lot from it on how to publish our next one then next time. But. Yeah, yeah. So you, you did what they call self-publishing? Is, yes. is that what you did? Yeah, okay. Now, I have a, another picture here. And tell us, tell us what we're looking at here. I'll have the camera so guy our zoom in. our friend at our the map. Beverly Public Library, right. Margie, yeah. um, she does story time. She is an amazing story reader. Right. And she um, said that our book could go in the library. Yeah. And there, this is actually, that was actually a picture taking at the library, and you saw the little, uh, the little uh, universal U UPC code on the, on the book when people check out, uh, check out the book, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Now, in, in, uh, <laughs> I don't want to give the story away so because we want people to read it, but in the book, everybody <clears throat> wants you to go to work where? Um, uncle? at your Uncle Larry, at the Uncle Larry's car wash. N is there really an Uncle Larry, or did just something you made up? Something we made up. Yeah. <laughs> I remember, like, when I watched Wonder Woman, uh, I'm not Wonder Woman, <laughs> Super, what was her name? Supergirl? Not Super, Supergirl, uh, but, like, um, like, a superhero on, like, on um, PBS, and, yeah. like, I think it was Word Girl. Yeah. And, um, sh her... Uncle's name was Uncle Larry, so I think I got that oh, from there. Oh, that's how you put that in there. And yeah. everybody wants you to go to work for Uncle Larry's car wash, right? And you, you say, no, I'm, I'm going to yeah. be an author, and I'm going to be an elephant dentist. <laughs> and now, we, we, did, you, we did mention that you did, um, you did dedicate the, the book, and I'm going to show the dedication page again. So... Um, you did dedicate the book to two people, right? Yes. And the first one here, let's, we'll get a close-up of that. And this book is dedicated to Margie, and you, you talked about Margie. She works in the uh, Beverly Library, right? Yes. And she'll be watching this show, right? <laughs> and then Dr. Erica, who continues making going to the dentist so much fun. 
Yeah. So, uh, and it, did uh, did Dr. Erica get a copy of the book as well? Did you yes, send her a did. copy? Yes, she did. She was the first person. She was the first person, right? She was. I'm, I'm sure she was happy about that. She what, was. She was happy about that. So she's she's now. Does she specialize just in children's dentistry, or does she you all kind of pay? Do you know? I think it just might be children's. Yeah. I'm not a hundred percent sure. Yeah, yeah. And and you live you live on what street do you live on in Beverly? Essex Street. Essex, right. And you live actually just down the street from where I live. Right, we talked about that. Yeah. yeah, and I got another picture here that I'm going to ask Matt, our cameraman, to zoom in on. And near near the uh, where we both live, there between uh, right next to the two gas stations, the Centerville station, Improvement the Society. The Centerville Improvement Society. And whoops, I'm having trouble holding that straight. And it says, "Congrats, E. J. Elizabeth J. Publishing Publishing." El, uh, elephant dentist, and, and there you are, huh? They yeah. put, they they put that up. Oh, they're proud of you too, huh? Yeah. So yes. did, did 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 you uh, did you make a presentation over there at the at the uh, Center for Improvement Society or? Well, um, no. My mom like put it on Facebook and stuff, and they're all really happy. And some girl who was in my class in third grade, she talked to her mom. She's like, "Oh, it was a really good book. Yeah. Why don't I'm so proud of her. Why don't we put up a sign?" So. Yeah. And you put up the sign. Yeah. Now, now, does your uh, does your teacher? You have an English teacher at school. And what's her name? Mrs. Green. Mrs. Green. And does she does she use your your book to do any of her teaching in, no. in the school? No, not not yet. She might she might do that a little bit a little <laughs> bit later, huh? Yeah. Now your book. Um, uh, so tell us how someone if they want want a copy of your book, uh, how can they get a copy of your book? Well, mm. you can go onto Amazon, but currently we are temporarily sold out. We're ordering new copies in. Get out! You're sold out? Yeah, we're getting new copies in soon. Yeah, so this is uh, up on the screen there. It's www.amazon.com. Dot com and people can go on there and they can they can click on uh, they can go in and they can they can click on Amanda Beatty and it's also on Barnes and Nobles dot com and um, if if you want to get it for fifteen dollars you can go to Yachtco our the gas station by my house and they have it now oh really mm -hmm. oh. Oh yeah. Now we we do also have yeah. There it is. So so if you're if you want if, if the audience wants to write this down. So it's called the Elephant Dentist by Elizabeth Jade Beatty, and and is that is that the is that the 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 store that's between uh, one of the two gas stations there? That is that where your your book is right on Essex Street. Well, um, you know the Dunkin' Donuts. Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's they're attached. Yeah. So. Oh, Okay. Okay. And do you do you have any idea on on how many books they've sold uh, already? Do you know? I think they've sold. I think they sold almost all of them so yeah. far at Yotco. Wow. I know on Amazon they sold all of them. I wow. don't know about Barnes and Nobles though. Yeah. Wow. That's that's amazing. That must make you feel pretty good, huh? It does. Yeah. And I know that I know that you tomorrow today is uh, what's today twenty uh, second. What's today the twenty? Does anybody know? I'm looking at our camera people. Well, well, today's around the 22nd or something. I think it might be like the 20th, 23rd, yeah. Tw 23rd. 23rd, okay. So today's the 23rd, and today's a Wednesday, and tomorrow um, uh, the, the Beverly Citizen is coming out for this week. Yes. And tell us what you, you had a chance to talk with Jenny Omeg, who's a good friend of ours here at mm -hmm. Beverly, who is a, who's the publisher or the editor over there and, and a writer. So what, what's going to happen in tomorrow's paper? What are we going to see in tomorrow's uh, Citizen? Well, um, she came and interviewed me. She was super, super, super sweet. Yeah. I loved meeting her. Yeah, Jenny's a nice lady. Yep. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and they're going to have an article on you, right? Yeah. Oh, wow, wow, wow. So uh, you have, you have um, um, another book planned, right? You yes, told me earlier. Yes, we're working on it. You're working on it. So, so tell, us what, tell us what book number two is going to be like, uh, Elizabeth. Well, Adrian needs some help since she's super, super, super busy at her dentist office. On her practice, yeah. So she hires sort of like an Amelia Bedelia person Ooh. who's going to be a kangaroo. And it'll teach kids about the tools that dentists use so they'll be prepared when they go to the dentist. Oh, I know what that tool is. I read it yeah. somewhere. In 
so they won't they'll, they'll learn about dentistry yeah but if they go to the dentist, they won't be afraid yeah, because they they'll, be know, as, like, they'll know what those tools are. Yeah. So, so it sounds like you've already got some Amelia Bedelia, is that her name or something? So you've already got characters planned out, huh? Mm -hmm. for, for that. Wow, that, that's, that, that's really super exciting. And, and, um, uh, and, and the teachers are giving you a lot of encouragement at school as well, huh? In, mm -hmm. in, in your yeah. writing? Yeah, and what and and your friends that are in the control room, so they're 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 pretty excited about being here and watching you. Yeah, they uh -huh. are. Right there, they're back there. I can I can see your mom right there, and maybe yeah, where are they? Move over a little bit more so we can see you. There they are. Ah. <laughs> okay. Well, Amanda, I can't tell you how much fun I have had sitting here talking with you such a such a smart young lady and such a pretty young lady too Thank you. and uh, and i just i hope your career uh goes uh, uh exactly where you want it to do and and i hope that one of these days you'll be able to see real elephants in the wild like we talked about yeah and thank you for being on uh, on the show is there anything you want to tell your friends at school or or uh, or any any of the folks out there you can talk well, is it right okay if i say a little shout out my friends have been asking absolutely me do anything you want go ahead right. your, your... hi gracie <laughs> anybody else um chloe, chloe. and giada and giada okay very good all right well um, uh, uh, Elizabeth Jade, thank you very much for being on my show. I really enjoyed having you here. I enjoyed being here. Well, thank you very much. And I would like to remind our audience that you have been watching North Shore Journal. I'm your host, Walt Kosmowski, and we'll see you next time.